Hello, I'm Dr. Kirmizakis, an otorhinolaryngologist from the General Hospital of Veria, Greece. In this short video, I would like to present you a basic head and neck examination, which should be performed by every physician and particularly by the general practitioners and the family doctors. After that, I'm going to show you a more advanced head and neck examination, which could be partially performed by the general physician, but should be mastered by the otorhinolaryngologist. Head and neck physical examination. Introduce yourself, ask for permission to ask medical questions, and perform the examination. Explain about what you are going to do. Medical history first. Basic examination which should be performed by the general practitioner. In general, the examination has as parts inspection, visualization, palpation, percussion, auscultation. Ear. External ears should be inspected looking for asymmetries and palpated. Otoscopy then. Weber and Rinne tests. Whispering test. Thirty-three, forty-four, fifty-five, thirty-three, forty-five. Nose. External nose should be inspected, looking for asymmetries and palpated. Rhinoscopy with a speculum. And or an otoscope. Press and percuss the anterior walls of maxillary antrums and frontal sinuses. Oral cavity and oropharynx, larynx, hypopharynx. Oral cavity and oropharynx should be inspected using a tank blade and a light source or better two tank blades and a movable headlight. and palpated according to the findings. Use a mirror and the headlight, pull out the tongue of the patients using a gauze and try to inspect the larynx and hypopharynx.
neck and face. Inspection for asymmetries, systematic palpation of lymph nodes, temporomandibular joints. Submandibular glands, parotids. Larynx, trachea, thyroid glands, Oscultation of carotid arteries and the neck. Preauricular and postauricular areas. Closed eyes. Cranial nerves, eyes. Examine the cranial nerves, particularly the 5th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 12th. Perform a basic ophthalmologic examination. Advanced examination, which should be performed by the otorhinolaryngologist and the very well trained general practitioner. Otomicroscopy, endoscopy of the ears, flexible and rigid endoscopy of the nose, nasopharynx.
larynx, hypopharynx, trachea and esophagus. 